Oh, another big story only on Fox tonight. A controversial arrest and it's caught on tape. There's a corrections officer that says he was out for dinner with his dad when he was approached by Philadelphia cops. He says he was choked by a sergeant and then handcuffed. Apparently it was all over the gun that he was carrying. Legally, I should add, he's got the permit to prove it. So what exactly sparked this outburst? Fox 29's Dave Schratweiser live at police headquarters with this exclusive story. Dave, what happened? Carrie, this incident now under investigation by the police department's internal affairs unit and the corrections department. It starts with that young corrections officer out for a bite to eat with his dad Sunday at a popular restaurant at 2nd in Allegheny. It ends with that officer under arrest. He's assaulted. This was the scene inside Freddie and Tony's restaurant on West Allegheny Sunday afternoon when a police sergeant put a two-hand chokehold on the neck of 27-year-old Joshua Arroyo and a scuffle ensued. It turns out Arroyo is a veteran city corrections officer. In looking at the tape, it's very disturbing. The chokehold incident was touched off when officers arrived at the crowded and popular restaurant looking for a man with a gun. The man turned out to be Arroyo, seen here, patiently waiting for his food with his father, who's also a veteran corrections officer. Arroyo's lawyer says when police asked to see his holstered gun, Arroyo showed them the weapon, his badge, and a license to carry the weapon. Police took the gun, and then the sergeant asked him to step to the front to continue the conversation. When Arroyo tried to go back to the table, a scuffle broke out. For whatever reason, um, things get out of control, and, and, and the man is, uh, is, is choked uh, and arrested. Arroyo was taken from the restaurant to a hospital complaining of injuries. He was charged with recklessly endangering another person and disorderly conduct for using obscene language. There were no gun charges filed. He provided the, uh, the appropriate permit to carry the weapon, uh, showed, uh, identified himself as a correction officer, um, and then the tape kind of speaks for itself. Police won't comment on the incident because Internal Affairs is investigating. Two witnesses told Fox 29 News Arroyo did nothing wrong. Police sources say it was only when Arroyo went to retrieve his gun at the table that the sergeant stepped in, used the chokehold, and placed Arroyo under arrest. And no one was involved in any criminal conduct here. Um, so we're going to have to take a long, hard look at this case. Now, Arroyo was not available for comment today. He did report this to his supervisors. He remains on the job in the corrections department. He is a five-year veteran. Police did return his gun and the bullets to Arroyo. Again, no weapons charges were filed. The police officers involved did file the necessary use of force reports with Internal Affairs. That is under investigation tonight. Live at police headquarters, Dave Schratweiser, Fox 29 News. Dave, thank you.